find and recode. Some of us who may be used to using other accounting software might be more familiar with the term batch reclass. The bottom line of this is it's a feature that's been recently added to zero, which allows me to take a group of transactions and all at the same time change one thing about them. Actually, you're going to see it's more than one thing you can change at once, but you can change, let's say, the account that they're coded to or the name that's associated with the transactions. A use case there, I've downloaded transactions. I got some funky name that downloaded from the bank and I forgot to fix it in the uh, reconciling area and now I want to fix it. So I can grab them all and change the name. I can change the account. I can change the tax code and I can change uh, the tracking code that the transactions are assigned to. But rather than me talk about it, let me just show you. So it's in the advisor menu because this is typically something you want to think of as something the advisor would do. You don't want clients messing with this. That would be a perfect example of giving them enough rope to hang themselves with. So I've got a bunch of transactions, let's say, that I know are in the general expenses account, which is if you're an accountant like me, you know you you hate that account category. So we want to find everything that's in the general expenses account and start moving it to wherever it really belongs, to whatever is a, a more appropriate account. So let's go to account 628 which is general expenses, and I can add more conditions to you know filter further down. At this point, what you're doing is you're doing the find, right? We're running a search query to find the transactions that we want to change some property about. Let's click search, and here it is, and I have Staples transactions, so I'm going to sort by contact because I want all those going to office expenses. Ideally, I would even create a separate account called office supplies just for this. So we're going to check these off. And then up here, we're going to say recode, right? And before I go there, let me show you. There's a drop down. Always click on these drop downs. Find out what your choices are. We can either change the source transactions or we can recode it by booking a journal entry. So in other words, if I, if I, let's say I'm an accountant doing a review and I don't want to sort of ruin my independence by actually editing or doing bookkeeping work for the client, then I can change this with a manual journal entry. So I would just book a journal entry to move this out of general expenses and into office expenses. We're going to recode the source transactions for this purpose. Office expenses. As you can see, and I mentioned this before, I wasn't lying. I can change the contact, I can change the tax rate, and I can add in any of my tracking codes here for purpose of, purposes of changing that information about these transactions. I'll click review. It gives me a warning that I can't change these transactions while this process is going on and it can't be undone. I'll confirm and it's going to recode nine transactions. And what's great about this is now let's say I have more stuff I want to recode. I can just click right here where it says, you know, it says uh, recode summary just now Seth David using this search. But what's nice about that is it'll give me the same search again, which is nice because I can run it again and make sure I didn't miss anything that I wanted to include. And also, once I'm here, of course, I can remove this criteria, add a new condition, and do a whole new find and recode. And oftentimes, I think you'll find that that's going to be the case, where you're going to want to be able to quickly get back there and do some more of this kind of stuff. So really, really great feature that Zero has recently added that makes our lives easier. We can get this done much more efficiently now instead of having to go through individual transactions and make these kinds of changes. As always, I invite you to post your comments and questions below. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube or click on the link if you're watching YouTube that I'll put in the description, which will take you over to the blog so you can read what I've written up about this and also post your comments and questions over there. Either way, I will get back to you on any questions and comments that you post in a timely manner. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day, and I look forward to seeing you on the web.